hope you are. Aren't they Thank nice? You. I wow. have the best audiences in the world, I tell really? you. I really do. So congratulations on uh, the, the Friends thing. Is that you're hilarious on that? That Thank Aaron Brockovich, the line was perfect delivery. Hilarious. Thank you. Now Thank we you used because the Friends they're uh, like a little gang. Now yeah. you're going in. I mean, an yeah. attractive gang, but that doesn't wear baggy clothes. But they're yeah. like a gang. Were you scared? Yeah. <laughs> of of that particular gang. Yes. No. <laughs> no. Um, no. I, I had all I had met all of them individually through the years, so mm -hmm. I had a little rapport with each and every one of them. I felt very. You know, like yeah. part of the family. Yeah, so, so you weren't they nervous were really, at all? I was, I was nervous. I wasn't nervous during rehearsals, but when we were about to shoot the episode and I was about to knock on the door, I almost fainted. And I had to tell them to just, if they could just hold it for just a second. Because I had to get some water and start breathing because I just was seeing like white. Now, mind you, I was on a sitcom for 11 years. Right. And, yeah. All right, exactly. And I was about to pass out. Doing friends because again, like they're like a gang. Because they're like a gang, and yes. I was in intimidated by all of them. By the gangness of them. Yeah. Yeah. With but their cute thongs and their. I know. Good jeans and. Right. Were you were you better the second time? Were you less nervous? <laughs> no. Oh. Not at all. It was <laughs> Why? horrible. Why not? The second time was worse because then I felt like oh god I had just and I had just won the Emmy for it that weekend. Yeah, before. congratulations! Oh. She won the Emmy. <laughs> Against um, the entire Mary Tyler Moore show. Yeah, basically. Betty White. Betty White and uh, 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 Cloris Leachman uh -huh. and Georgia Unger uh -huh. and Betty. 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 <laughs> yeah. And another Betty. Okay. I'm sorry, Betty. All right. It's a bit intimidating mm -hmm. having these women who I've watched my whole life. Right. You know, studied them and, and watched them. And, and what was that like to, to win? Was that exciting to get up and. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, I didn't yeah. feel that way at all. Uh, no, I was sitting there and, and they were they were naming off the nominees and, and we we're you know there and dressed up and they're naming them off and showing the clips and I turned to Jonathan and I said, oh, it's not gonna happen because you know I just I could feel just the just the royalty that yeah. I was amongst and I right. sat back and I crossed my legs and kind of just sat there and faded out. Then that was that and then I'm like, oh, oh okay, I gotta go yeah. up. I do. Right. Okay. Yeah, because everything so, just happens in slow motion. You yeah. don't really hear your name. So then you walk up and you're excited. So I was, well, I was, I, I, I was, I had been sitting there for so long that I was sweaty. Uh-oh. A little bit. And I had, I was afraid that my dress was stuck to my uh, butt. So all I could think about was trying to get the dress to not be stuck to, your to butt. my butt. Walking up to accept my Emmy Award. That's. How do you suddenly take your dress excited. out from your butt when you're walking up? Very carefully. Yeah. You try to distract them by doing something over here. Yeah. So that you're. <laughs> that's, a, that's a hilarious thing to do. <laughs> Hi. Hi, honey. How are you? You know. <laughs> yeah. So good. I do. Like, I... Doing so many yoga, online classes, and meditation, and, you know, eating lots of kale. I'm doing none of those uh, things. I don't think any of that's true. No, failing. None failing of those. completely. <laughs> Brie on crackers, wine, and laying around. That's it. Good. Well, that's okay. I'm doing good. That, that's all right. Um, so... I know how you are because we actually text back and forth, but it's been nine years since you were actually on the show. I don't know how that that is. You took a little break to take care of your daughter, right? Yeah, I took I took some time to raise my child and um, and then, you know, worked kind of sporadically just to keep my health insurance. Um, and um, <laughs> and now, you know, here I am back at work on something that's perfect for me because it's only once a year. It's such a great show. Um, but you. before we, we get to that, your daughter, when you were on the show nine years ago, was eight months old. And now somehow I'm accidentally texting with your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> She's so obsessed with you. She loves you so much. Um, she'll like sit and just watch you by herself. Like I'll just come in. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like watching Ellen. So she really loves you. <laughs> Well, she seems so super smart. Um, so <laughs> she's, uh, she's very smart. <laughs> she loves you. So she's she's. What grade is she in? 
uh, no grade right now, um, third, third grade. Third. So you were you were by volunteering meaning, by at meaning my school. By meaning my homeschooling skills are like, my homeschooling skills are, so yeah. Um, yes, I was volunteering at her school. Um, of course, in kindergarten, I signed up for everything, but then I fell in love with the library and Miss Myrtle, who runs the library, and that's my happy place. It's where I hang out. Oh, good. Why is that? I put books away for like, you know, hours and no one talks to me and I just, I put books away and then Sadie's class comes in or another class comes in and I do, um, I read them a book on this. They have like story steps and they all sit there and I read a book and they like it because I do like a bunch of accents and they think it's funny. You're multi-talented. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what is the charity you would like to play for, Christina? I would like to play for Feeding America. Um, I know that a lot of the kids at Sadie School depended on those school lunches every day and the, the hardest hit communities by this corones, um, they really need our help. So feedingamerica.org if you want yep. to donate. Yes, that's a good one. All right, the game is called Dead to Me or Fine by Me. Okay. So Your yeah, daughter I, made the paddle, yeah, I she understand. Did. She needs to give it to me. Okay. She put about seven hours into this. <laughs> okay. I am going to say a topic, and you'll say whether it's fine by you or dead to you. Here we go. First question, drinking before noon. Before noon, like 11.58? Yeah, yeah, it would be right before noon, not too much before that. <laughs> Wearing the same clothes for more than three days. I already am. I'm like, look, I, I, slept, I slept in these sweatpants, so there you go. Cooking every day for every meal. Yeah, I was gonna say that you probably should use that side. Getting dressed for a formal Friday. <laughs> Showering every day. Joining a book club. Being stuck with husband 24 seven. Letting husband pick what to watch. Both. <laughs> Learning a new language. <gasps> Doing puzzles. We've been trying. There's a puzzle sitting on the table that we're about to start. We just haven't started it, but it's fine by me. Okay. Walking around the house naked. Okay. Reporting the news without pants. That's completely fine. Yeah, me too. Binging Dead to Me on Netflix. Oh. Yes, that's fine by me too. Christina, I love you. I love you, Ellen. I miss I you. I do too, Christina. I miss you too. Bye, Sadie. Come I love you, Sadie. Come say bye. Get in there. Come say bye. There.